With the elaborate costumes, weapons, and equipment, one might think we're on the set of a fantasy battle film, but we're in the middle of Oregon Park in rural Maryland. And this battle is real. And for these Darkon LARP enthusiasts, the sense of community is real as well. LARP, or live action role playing, was brought to mainstream media's attention through comedies like Role Models and Knights of Badassdom. But members of the LARP community often complain of the skewed way film and even documentary makers portray people who LARP. I mean, it's a hobby like anything else. They, they can judge it until they try it, but it's given me a lot of positive things in my life, and I've learned so much. News to Share joined Darkon one of the largest consistent LARP communities in the country, at their House of Cards battle event to shed light on what it's really like to live action role play. My name is Maggot the Squirming. Uh, rank, I used to be former warlord of Shed and I'm the one that actually started all my friends and stuff into this. There, there's a lot of athleticism that goes with LARP. I, I wear 70 pounds of armor. This ain't light, <laughs> it ain't easy, and it, it's hot. It's a game with politics, and there's some people that like to go out there and hit people, and some people that like to go out and decide how you can hit people. We have a Senate that basically goes over rules and discussions and stuff like that. And we have an executive board that also finalizes rules and discussions. Noble Council is more like, hey, this person did something really, really bad and unsportsmanlike. That's when they step in. They're more the uh, morality police. Despite the fringe culture of LARPing, many players don't see any difference between foam fighting and other types of sports competition. So they think that LARPing with the foam weapons is kind of lame. Um, and it's a shame they would have so much fun if they ever came out to an event. And I, I can pretty much guarantee anybody who loves any sort of physical thing, uh, football players, rugby player, players, soccer players, anything, anything physical, you're gonna have a good time at a dark hunt. The biggest misconception is that we're weird people. We cover the entire spectrum of humanity. We have lawyers, doctors, accountants, archaeologists. We're just normal, everyday people that love dressing up and living in a different time. Watch your back! God damn it! <laughs> Gobbers don't say that, they don't. And contrary to the stereotype, men aren't the only ones that fight. Hi, we're here with Bikes and Sev, and uh, these are some of the best fighters here in Darkon. Could you guys please just explain a little bit uh, what it's like being a female fighter in Darkon? It's a constant struggle. You gotta prove uh, yourself. You gotta prove yourself every single time. And then you beat people up. And it's cool again. And then they shut up, yeah. I mean, you have sometimes have to hit people harder, but that's... But you do that anyway. You have to, you have to do that anyway. I feel like if small dudes probably have to overcome similar things. I think it just gave me something that I could excel at in the first time in my life. You know, I was one of those closeted nerd kids, always behind like a computer reading a book kind of thing. Came out here, I was like, I can be Xena? Fuck yeah, I want to be Xena. And I've been creative my whole life, and this was just a good outlet to make stuff and make new cool things all the time. Some people have louder voices than others, so if you want your voice heard, making it heard is important. Darkon has an instructional speech at the beginning of every game which makes it easy for newcomers to join. They even let me try my hand at fighting. So engaging, take your sword out, you tap, and now we're fighting. Okay. Okay. So that's one to the arm. <laughs> and you say white when you hit. Yep. Fight, oh. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> the way this is gonna work, hey, the way this is gonna work is we're gonna have a heavy armor crew on the left and a heavy armor crew on the right. Two wings, very close together. This man wants to delay us from our righteous goal. <laughs> Will you let them? No! no! I say we kill them! Yes! Yeah! 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 And then the battle between No Quarter and Shed Nazad began. Go for it, go for it, go for it! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, go, got armed, had my armor taken away from me, so I just ended up being a shield for whoever was next to me. Did you kill anybody? I contributed to a death. I don't think I actually uh, got the landing blow. Dude, these yep. things go over so fast. It's really hard to like keep track of what's going on. As you saw, it was over in like 20 seconds, if that. <laughs> the characters may not be real, but the sense community is. For Lana and Christina Lunaris, it was the perfect setting to get married. We met um, back about the um, end of 2011. 
as soon as we announced that we were engaged, we were almost immediately approached like, you have to do a Darkon wedding, you have to do a Darkon wedding. And so we did because it was the ultimate nerd wedding. It was it was definitely us and it was definitely unusual. And I think we wanted that rather than the typical, you know, $10,000, $15,000 wedding. I started transition about nearly 15 years ago. I gotta get ready um, I actually finished, more or less completed transition almost 15 years ago. And I have not seen this type of acceptance in almost any other community. So I do think it's quite unique. It's actually really nice to say, and very unusual to say, but it, that, there is no being transgender community. There's no difference. I'm not treated any differently than anybody else in Darkon. Darkon members gather every two weeks for fights and events. For these warriors, the battle is never over. Who uh, who won? No quarter! Sorry. Got a, got a little excited. Our group won. Thanks, man. Jackie Lee, News to Share, Washington.